Onshape provides a pre-modeled library of standard content to insert into assembly designs. To insert standard content into an assembly, select Insert on the assembly toolbar, then choose Standard Content in the dialog. Pick the standard, category, class, and component. Use the Auto Size Fastener option to allow Onshape to select the correct fastener size. The Auto Size option even works for holes that were not created with the hole feature. Onshape picks the best standard size fastener to fit the hole, rounding down. However, you can use Auto Size for washers and nuts as well. If you use it to apply a hex nut, for example, to a shaft, Onshape rounds up ensuring the hex nut fits without interferences. To use the Auto Size option, click the icon and select the whole face. The size pull-down changes to the best size fastener. Pick the other options needed including drive type, length, thread length, finish, and material. Optionally, type a part number and description. This defines the properties for the standard part. You only have to do this once for each unique component. Onshape remembers these inputs for your entire company. Notice the preview in the bottom of the dialog to be sure you are inserting the needed part. Select Insert and hover over the hole. When the fastener snaps into place, click. This mates the fastener into the hole with a fastened mate. If the assembly requires several of the same fastener, select the face with the holes instead and then select Insert. Let's undo the fastener we added and select the faces of the assembly instead. Now select Insert. Notice all fasteners are inserted into the holes of the selected faces. Now I would like to insert a washer between the head of the hex bolt and the face of the part. I change my selections in the dialog. I can use the Auto Size option and click anywhere on the existing fastener to insert the correct washer size. Again, let's select the faces with the holes. This time I click Insert closest to selection. This option inserts the washer between the hex bolt and the part raising the hex bolt. Let's add a washer below as well. Finally, we need to insert a nut. I change the selections in the dialog and choose the underface with the holes. I click Insert Furthest from Selection because I want the nut to insert at the bottom of the stack, furthest from the face selection. Notice standard content displays in the instance list with a different icon. Editing standard content is just as easy as inserting it. Right-click on a fastener and select Edit Standard Content Instance. If you need to edit several instances that are the same fastener, choose Select Instances with Same Configuration. Then right-click and choose Edit Standard Content Instance. Make the needed edits and choose Update. Once complete, accept the changes by selecting the green check mark. Standard content streamlines your company's process to insert purchased fasteners into your assembly designs.